Annyeong, this is Nuna Army. So today we have a new fresh binder because I'll be setting up my Mamamoo um, binder for photo cards and postcards. I have started to collect Mamamoo stuff. I love them. If you haven't seen, I believe I've uploaded two videos with about Mamamoo. Um, I love them. They're just a great girl group, super confident women. I love their songs. They're so fun and catchy and the messages are really <laughs> nice. You know, some of them are really deep. Some of them are just like pure fun, like Dinga. That's just a fun song. That's a bop. Um, and I really enjoy them. I just, I love them. And I think they, they deserve so much more love, really. Um, so if you haven't checked them out, you should try and see for yourself. Get into Mamamoo. Check out their songs. Check out their performances. Their vocal skills are killer. They, one of the first few videos that I watched of them was when they did this medley of boy k-pop group covers together with their like yes i am song that was incredible and it just showed their vocal skills to the max they're such great performers i love them love their personalities my favorite member or my bias is huasa she is just a queen an absolute queen um but i love all four of them really they all bring something to the table they're so cool they're just a cool group you know anyway so this is my binder for them it is a two inch um, what is this avery binder one touch binder and just on the spine i have this little acrylic pin with the Mamamoo ladies there and because I do store my binders vertically I do like to put designs on the spine um, I don't really mind if the if the front part is blank but the spine is where I have the design normally so let's get started by opening this up as you can see there are no pages in it yet I just have some stickers here and some like filler filler thingies um, Yes, yeah, stickers, I bought them from, a lot of them are from like Etsy shops that do quite good Mamamoo stickers. We have like the Mini Moo right here. Um, this one is actually from an Etsy seller in Cyprus of all places. It's just like fan-made stickers. And then like you'll see some of the stickers that I have used to make some of the fillers for, for the binder itself. So let's get started. So we're starting with these, which are the four seasons, I think fall, winter, like postcards. I don't have all of them. I don't have the full set, but I just have a few, which I thought just look really, really nice. Um, and I've pre-placed them into these four pocket pages from the UK seller. So let's do that. Wow. And I'll probably do a quick flip through at the end of this video just so we can see. There are two pages here that are blank. And for those, I just made these like simple fillers with just colorful pages or like paper. And I put like the Mini Moo sticker here. I'll put the link below for the Etsy shop where I bought the Mini Moo stickers or all of these like stickers that you'll see throughout the video. So let's put one here just to fill that up because I haven't decided if I'm going to collect more of the postcards. I do like the looks of these, so maybe I will. That's why the fillers are pretty basic, but I think they still look really cute and nice. Then we'll start with some of the solo albums and maybe I'll just bring you in a little bit closer just so you can see this a bit better. You don't need to see this little page here, <laughs> which just has all of those random stickers. Okay, so we'll go into the albums. I forgot to mention that I am planning to complete 
the the sets for Mamamoo, at least the albums. They're just four members. They don't go too crazy with the number of photo card versions that they have per album. So it's not that overwhelming. And again, they're just four members and I just want to have all four of them here. For the solo albums, I have yet to decide if I'm going to get all of them, but I do have some with me now, um, some of the photo cards. And we are starting with adding one nine pocket page here. So let's put that in. And all the pages that I'll be using are from the UK seller, um, just the different like types of pockets that they have. And I just want to try to make that as uniform as possible so that it sits nicely in the binder. Now for this nine pocket, I have seven of the normal photo cards that you get with the Maria album for Hwasa. Um, so this is Hwasa's solo album. I love it. Again, she is my bias, love her, queen. So there are 10 versions of these photo cards. Um, I have seven for now. You get one random photo card per album that you get. Um, and then I also have these two MMT like special photo cards. So they'll just all be going into one page for now while I wait and see if I'm gonna get like the three missing cards that I have for the standard version. I don't believe there's a particular order for these photo cards, um, but the backs are a little bit different. Um, hmm, what I'll probably do is put the three that have like the different backs on top. And she is just so gorge. I love her. She's just so sultry and confident without trying too hard. Absolute queen. And then I'll just be putting these two MMT photo cards in these final two pockets. And then I just have this three pocket, like vertical pockets, where I put the two, I think they're tickets. Yeah, anyway, they came with the album. I did buy two albums of Maria. And then this is actually the sticker that sealed the album. And I just took that out and put it in a little cardstock so I can display it here. So that's the Maria section. Then we'll go into the next solo album, which is Moonbeal's Moon Repackaged version. And the first thing that I'll add is one pocket. Because I have the MMT postcard for the repackaged version. Um, there are two versions of these. I only have one, so I'll just put that in this one pocket like so and I could place them in a I place it in a two pocket but because it's portrait I just want it to be able to sit in portrait mode these little dust particles in there okay yeah so I just want to be able to keep it in portrait mode and I am pressing it down just to kind of build a vacuum if that doesn't stay put I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape or something to keep that in place and then <laughs> for the photo cards of the moon repackaged album i will be adding three nine pocket pages because there are a lot of photo cards that came with this album the nice thing though is you get all of them in one shot that i appreciate okay so we'll start with the first nine pocket and you'll see I have all of the photo cards here. There are a total of 12 photo cards that you get for each Moon repackaged album that you do buy. Um, and I'll be doing it like four 
four photo cards per page. I was inspired by a YouTuber here named Petite Jong. I'll link her video below. I was that was the first video I watched where I saw someone collecting like Mama Moo photo cards, and this is how she kind of set it up with like four cards per page and just put fillers in the pages. I thought that looked really nice and neat because I was struggling on how to set up the pages just for four members um, because normally the the pockets that I use are nine pockets. You know, it's the normal pockets that most people use for photo cards. And I thought the way she did it was nice. I tried it out again just to see how I felt about it. And it, it was good. So let's start with these I just want to show you so these are the first four sets so we have Moonbyul all Moonbyul basically <laughs> yeah another badass queen love her and then the backs are like this so that's why I had to like split them out as well because the backs are different so you have this for one set and then you have like this moon with like a statue for another set and then we have like dark side of the moon themed backs for another set so that's why I thought it was just gonna be nice to um, to separate them out into different sets per page so let's do that so this is how Petit Jong Jong? Petit Jong? I don't know I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that pronunciation, um, arranged hers. And I thought this was nice. So she did like four in like a diamond pattern like this. And then the rest she just used like sleeves, solid colored sleeves to fill them out. And I think what that really does is it brings your attention to To the cards. I think that's just gorgeous. Are you missing? Yeah. Yeah, and I think that is really clever and a really smart way to do it. I like that. So we'll be doing that for the next set as well. I love Moonbeal too because she just has this like I don't really care what you think attitude which to be honest all four of them really exude and love that. I just want to have that confidence. <laughs> Yeah, I do like that a lot. And I do have like stickers coming from an Etsy shop that I bought from based in the US um, where I bought many stickers of the Mama Moo logo, which I intend to put on like maybe the middle pocket or middle filler or something like that just to add a little bit of pizzazz, <laughs> pizzazz <laughs> to, to the fillers. But I do like how the fillers like this bring your attention to the photo cards and just block out those empty spots and you see so i bring you here at least like the backs are you can see and appreciate the back designs of the photo cards and they're just all like one set okay and then we're in the final nine pocket for moon repackage Wow, look at that like face jewelry. Love it. I wish I could pull off face jewelry like that or face accents like that. I don't know um, why I feel the need that I want to have face accents like this. I think it's just really cool. But I think it would be strange if I just walk out and go to work with face accents like that.
I don't know why I'm talking about face accent so much. Um, but yeah, so I have the same silver fillers. And these fillers that I'm using are just the Dragon Shield fillers. I do have quite a few colors of these because I have done a bit of re-sleeving in some of my BTS photo cards. So I have a few colors of Dragon Shields and I think they come in like boxes of hundreds. So this is also just a nice way to be able to utilize these sleeves. And yeah. I really like that. It's just so neat. So thank you, Petit Jong. Sorry again if I'm butchering the pronunciation um, for the inspiration. Then we're moving to a new album, which is still in the solo projects. And we have Solar's Spit It Out album photo cards. I do have her complete set. There are Yes, here. So there are five normal photo cards. So I didn't buy the album, but I did purchase the whole set of photo cards from a seller here in Singapore. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Solar is an incredible vocalist. Um, and I like her with the plaited and blonde hair. I think it suits her. And then we have three My Music Taste, so MMT photo cards. So two are quite similar but different facial expressions. So we have one, two, three. And for all of these photo cards, I have pre-sleeved them using my normal method of sleeving album PCs, which is I use two soft sleeves. So one to make it fit that's very, very tight on the photo card itself and then just putting that in a KMC perfect hard sleeve. So let's just start putting these in. I'll just put the MMT photo cards at the bottom. And then for the middle empty slot, I just have an orange sleeve. And I chose orange because the theme of this is purple and orange at the back, as you can see. So I think that just goes well with it. Another nine pocket. And then this is still a solo album. This is Moonbyul's Dark Side of the Moon. So there are five, five photo cards that I have, again, the complete set of. Um, so we have this. There, I'll just show you the photo cards. This time she has black hair. Oh no, sorry, I was talking about the hair color with solar, not Moonbyul, oops. But yeah, so there are five of those. Just me. I'm thinking of them like this. Gosh, I love putting photo cards in pockets. I just find it incredibly relaxing. Okay. And then I just have these red fillers to go into the spots that don't have cards. I love this idea. And look, I am aware that many photo card collectors do use um, sleeves like this to fill out the empty spots, but it's just with that Petit Jong video that I was like, okay, that's a great idea for how to store Mamamoo photo cards. So that's why I was I will credit her <laughs> because that was also the video that really pushed me to collect Mama Moo photo cards. I love them. I chose red again just to go with the back, the color of the backs of the photo cards. And then we're still on dark side of the moon. I'm just adding two two pocket pages.
and they are for the mini posters and they do line up at the back I don't know if you can see that but there wasn't a way for me to do it so that they would still line up in the pages so I'm just going to put them as I want <laughs> and these fit great in these two pockets Yes, just showing off her different sides. I love that. And then we'll go into the final solo album, which is still Moonbeals, and it's her Selfish album, which again came with 12 photo cards and then this Takji. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's just this little circle thing. And then these are the 12 photo cards. So this is the first set looking really soft. and gentle and then the backs of those look like this the selfish album look like a little like game pad so i guess that's why the themes of the backs are like game pad or game related things this is the second set from the selfish album which again you get all of these photo cards when you buy the album it's very, they're very generous with the photo cards. And then this is how that looks. Selfish fish. <laughs> okay. And then this is the In My Room version, which again is looking really, really nice and soft. I love this little like graphic thing that she has going on. And she just looks really calm. And that's how the back looks. And because they are like different sets within the Selfish set like that, I'll be doing the same thing that I did for the Moon Repackage photo cards. So just adding three nine pocket pages again. Um, maybe I'll put this first here. Okay. And because these are so colorful at the back, the fillers that I'm using are just black. Yeah. So again, all the attention is really brought onto the photo cards themselves. It looks really cute. Hmm. Should I switch them or flip them? No, I prefer that they're facing in this direction, even if they are backwards at the back. Okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay. Go to the next page, which is in my room. We'll do the same layout. And just the black fillers again. These black fillers are the Ultra Pro deck protector, so they have that little circle thing. I'm not, I'm okay with that. It's just going at the back. Yes. 
And then the final nine pocket for selfish. Hmm. Her holding little dried flowers and then the takji goes in the middle and we just have feathers here Cool. So that's it for the solo albums. We're now going into the actual Mamamoo albums. And we're starting with their latest one, which is Travel. Mm. I'll be putting one four pocket first. And in that four pocket goes these two. So we have the square group Polaroid that came with the light green version of Travel. And then you have the square sticker that came with the dark green version. So this one is actually that, if you remember the design that I had, or the little pin that I placed in the spine of this binder, um, it's actually this, but like in a caricature version. So I'll be putting these right on top. The top three pockets, like so. And then for the bottom pockets, I just have these fillers, which again, I found an Etsy seller who made these stickers, which is a copy of this. It's nice. So I like that. <laughs> so we have solar, moonbule, yeah, solar, moonbule, and then. We have Wien and Wasa. I hope that focuses for you. There you go. Then I just have the logo. So I'm just putting that at the bottom. Nice. Then I'll just be adding many nine pocket pages because there are many photo cards for this album. I don't have the complete set of travel albums just yet, but I do have a few of them. So let's start with the My Music Taste um, photo cards. I actually have two complete sets of this. Again, my duplication problem um, continues. <laughs> so what I've, I'm just doing a little bit of I'll be putting both sets into the binder, but I'll just do a little bit of like design difference in the way I lay out both sets. But this is how they look. So we have Wasa, Solar, Moonbyul, and Win. Yes, and the backs are really nice with their signature right there. Signatures right there. And for the Mama Move. Um, photo cards the way I'll be arranging it is like this where I have my bias first and then we go by age order so for this first set I'll be putting like this so again very much inspired by Petit Jean where you have four cards in a diamond pattern and then just using fillers for the rest. And I know that, you know, these are nine pockets, so I can fit the eight cards that I have, for example, for the MMT photo cards in one page. Um, I'll be doing that in a set later on, but I just like how this looks. It's just very nice. And neat. So that's the first set of MMT photo cards. For the second set, I've actually sleeved them in colored sleeves, so the same green sleeves. We'll be following the same order. We have Wasa on top, Solar, 
Moon Mule. And again, these are the Ultra Pro ones, so they do have that little logo, which is fine with me for now. Um, but I'll be using black sleeves to serve as fillers. Now I am I do have like a spare. So I have a third version or a third copy of Moonbeal's MMT photo card. Uh, maybe what I might do is just do it this way. So flip it so that we see her signature right there in the middle and then she just like faces the back to like say hi to her friends here. But yeah, so that's how I've kind of laid out these two sets of MMT, travel MMT photo cards that I have. So just one where I sleeve them in green and then the fillers are black. And then one where I've sleeved them clear and then the fillers are green. And I think it's very like travel themed. It suits the album theme a lot. Oops. Then we go into the normal photo cards, and for the normal photo cards, there are four versions. So Denga A, Denga B, Aya A, Aya B. Um, yeah, so I'll be laying them out the same way. So we'll start with Aya B, which I do have the full, the complete set for. So we have Hwasa, Solar, Munbyul, and Wien. And then the backs, the backs are different for each version. So they have their signature right there, like a short, short message. Um, but these are like the the design is like brown colored. So just be arranging them in the same order. Then adding those filler pockets, filler pages, like so, and I'll be using green for the rest of the normal photo cards from travel. It's because the travel theme is green, really, so I think that looks good. You know what? Okay. And then we have Aya A, where I only have three members. I am missing Wien, um, but I have so um, so Solar, Hwasa, Solar, and Moonbyul. The backs for these are, are they dark green or black? I think they're dark green. Okay, yeah, dark green. Yep, doing the same thing, putting in those green sleeves. Oh. Then I have Moonbyul on the way. Should I put black? No, let's do green. Yeah. So that's Aya B, Aya A. And then we go into Denga. For Denga B, I do have the full set. So we have Hwasa here, Solar, Moonbyul, and Wien. Denga, like a, like a, like a fish. Oh, so nice. <laughs> I just think that song is super fun, okay? So. Yeah, same thing. Then we're adding one more, one final nine pocket 
for Dinga A. Okay. Yes, where I don't have the complete set, but I have three. So I have Hwasa, Solar, and Moonbyul. And then I have another Hwasa, which is her on worldwide um, Dinga PC for travel as well. So that's just like a special one. And you can tell it's special because of the back. So it's not the same like with the barcode. So you have here. So for Dinga A, it's the red colored one. But I'm just going to include her here because she fits the Dinga theme. I mean, clearly that's from the Dinga set. So we just put them here. Then she will just go in the middle. And then we end spot. I'm going to put a filler. She's on her way as well. So they'll be complete soon. Cool. And that's it for travel. Then we go to the final album, which is Reality in Black, which is the first album that I really enjoyed. I really like hip. Um, <laughs> and if you haven't seen this video of their, them, them <laughs> performing the 2019 Mama um, with JYP, you need to see it. And you need to see the reaction videos as well, because Jackson from GOT7 had the best reaction. <laughs> shook. If you look up Shook, in the dictionary, you will see Jackson's picture when he was reacting from that um, performance. So anyway, let's go into reality in black. So for this, I'm just going to add two nine pockets first. Oops. And then here, so instead of doing like the diamond pattern, um, there are 12 photo cards as well for Reality in Black. So we have eight normal ones. They're just like black version and white version. Um, I do have the full set. So we have Hwasa. So let's go with the black version first. So we have Hwasa, Solar, Moonbyul, and Wien. And they're just like with their signatures at the back. I like that they do this it's it's really nice um i am an appreciating person no i appreciate designs of the backs of the photo cards so i like this that they do that it still looks nice and clean but i think it adds a little something so that's the black version then we have the white version and we have wasa solar moonbyul and wien and the way I'll do this instead of the diamond thing is I'll fill out the outline. Um, so we'll go with Wasa here, solar. Then we have, oops, sorry. I hit my tripod. Then we have Moonbill. Then we have Wayne here. Then for the white version, I'm going to put Hwasa here, Solar, Moonbyul, and Wien. So you have, you see? So you have black version and white version. And then in the middle, I am just going to be putting an orange filler. And I will be adding design to that again when my Etsy order arrives with the logo of Mamamoo. I'll be putting that in there. And then for the next nine pocket will be for these four lenticulars, which, wow, love it. So let's go like one by one on this as well. So this is Hwasa's lenticular. Oof, 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 oof. Then we have Solar. Yes, I hope you can see that properly. I am trying to show you the lenticular power. Then we have Moonbyul. Yes. And we have Wien. And 
these I'm going to arrange in a special way because the backs line up. So I believe I tried this. I'm going to put solar here. Then we have Mundial. Then we have Wien here. So I'm not going to follow my order, which is Plaza first and then age order. We're going to do it this way. And I'm going to show you the back after I put in all of these fillers. It's just all of these orange fillers. Block out the spaces. Because, see it, let me turn this, Let's, I'm going to do this on the flip through anyway, but, but you see, like they line up, so I had to arrange them that way, just so the back is nice, and we don't waste out on the, the work that they've done to make this pleasing. Um... Yeah, so whoever did the work to line them up and arrange them and fix the orientation, I got you because I laid it out that way so we can see it. Cool. Don't know if you're ever going to see this video, but I appreciate the work for the backs of the cards. Cool. And then the final thing that we're going to add um, to finish out this video or like to finish out the binder setup is still with Reality in Black, but they're the Lyric, lyric postcards. I'll be adding five two pocket pages for that. And here they are. So I actually have the first one set up already in a one pocket page like this um, and I had to do that because they do line up as well so I just wanted them to be together and much closer together um, but yeah so that's solar and moonbiol and then we just have like at the backs so you have the track list and then track one with the lyrics that's why they're called lyric postcards because the backs have lyrics and then we have the rest here so I've just arranged them by track order just to follow like what track numbers at the back so we have Wien for track two track three Huasa track four solar hip mmm love that song badass look at that then Moonbyul then Wien for track six track seven is Huasa Hello, Mama. Yes, Solar. You know, I really enjoyed this little half and half look that you had. Um, so, yeah, Solar. And then we have Moonbyul for track 9. And then track 10 is Wien. Track 11 is Hwasa. So we'll be doing it. Mm, yeah. And look, these... Postcards will fit better in the Ultra Pro two pockets because those are smaller. But I do want to maintain consistent like pages for this album just so the cards, I don't know, the weight distribution is better. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just would prefer to try to keep the pages as consistent as possible. So that's why I'm using all the pages from the UK seller. I still think it looks good. And you could double these up. I didn't want to because I didn't want to cover the lyrics. And these are all sleeved as well. Then we'll just add the 
and we'll just add this one pocket page which has the first two postcards because they do line up really nicely. Wow, that's the binder setup for Mamamoo. Now I do have one other set of stuff and they are the travel photo books and I was contemplating whether or not I put these in the binder because they are much thicker than I thought they would be. So we have each photo book is for each member. So you get a random one per album. Um, then I have Wasa here, which is, I just like quickly flip through. Then we have Solar. I'll quickly flip through as well. Moonbyul. And we in hmm why don't I try it try to put these Let's see, so my idea is to put them in a one pocket. And just have them. And the reason why I prefer to put them in a one pocket rather than a two pocket, because I tried it with a two pocket and they would slide out like nobody's business. I think with a one pocket, at least you only have like one opening there you see they do move but yeah okay let's let's put them in the one pockets let's see I'll observe this over time if it damages the photo cards or not if it does I'm going to take them out but for now let's do this and if they do I do have like a bulky binder for my BTS photo cards, these photo books might join that bulky binder. Um, but for now, they're here. Again, I will observe that and see. My biggest concern really is just damaging the other photo cards that are in the binder. Um, but we'll see that over time. I'll see it in a few days, really, if it's going to be working or not. Cool. Then let's go into a quick little flip through of my Mamamoo binder. Okay, so I've brought you in a lot closer. So this is just, we start with the albums, the Mamamoo albums, Reality in Black. These are the lyric postcards. Wow. Then we go into the photo cards. These are the lenticulars, which I've arranged this way because of the back. It's just really nice. I'm happy with this. Then we go into, I'll zoom you out a little bit. Normal photo cards for reality in black. So we have black ver yeah, the black version goes this way, white version goes this way. And then we go into travel. So this is Denga A, just missing Wien with the on worldwide photo card of Wasa. Then we have Denga B, Aya A, missing Wien again. She's coming. Then Aya B. Then we have MMT Worldwide photo card set. And then I do have Moonbyul's Extra, her, the third copy that I have right in the middle. Um, this is just the first set that I have. The second set of MMT Worldwide photo cards. Hmm, I'm trying to minimize the glare, but sorry about that. Okay, 
just lift it like this. And then we have the Polaroid that comes with a light green version. And then the sticker that comes with a dark green version. And then these are just fillers. And then these are the photo books, the individual photo books that again, I'm just going to see over time if it destroys or warps the, the cards underneath it. If it does, I'm going to move that to a different binder. Then we go into the solo projects. So we have Selfish, first four photo cards, the In My Room photo cards, still from Selfish. Then we have the third set of photo cards from Selfish. Then we go into Dark Side of the Moon. These are just the mini posters, which probably just turn so you can see better. Yep, four, let me bring you back. Dark Side of the Moon, the five photo cards. Then we have Spit It Out, um, eight, the eight normal photo cards. Nope, so we have the five standard photo cards and then we have the three MMT photo cards right here. Then we go into Moon Repackage, so this is the first set. The second set. And then the third set. Then this is the postcard, one of the MMT postcards. There are two versions. I have one. Then we go into Maria Huasa Solo project. The two tickets and then the sticker that seals the album. Then we have the photo cards that I do have right now. So we have seven from seven out of ten of the ordinary photo cards. And then I have two from MMT. And then we go into the Four Seasons Fall Winter Postcards. Again, this is not a complete set. These are just the ones that I do have. They're super fun. I love them. Oh, these are portrait. Yes, super fierce. I love this hair color and weird. These are portraits so we can finish out like so. Wow. And that's it. My Mamamoo binder has been set up. I am going to be collecting more of their photo cards as I go. Not as accelerated of a pace as I've done with my BTS photo cards, but I think this is a good start for now. Again, I love them. If you haven't checked them out, please check them out. They're a great group. I really enjoy their music. I love their personalities. You know, if you just want to be entertained, watch Hwasa's like, what is it? I Live Alone or let me, let, give me a sec. I'm going to find the exact name. Hwasa Home Alone. So she eats like a boss, okay? So that's also something that I just love. Um, yeah, so that's my Mama Moo binder setup. Hopefully this helps all the Moo Moo's out there who are looking for some inspiration on how to um, set up your photo cards. If you have photo cards or postcards lying around, you know, I hopefully this helps you um, or this inspires you to store them in a binder or even inspire inspire you to start collecting the photo cards like what happened to me when I just encountered that that video um, yeah so I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in my next one thanks for watching bye